Now, this is how you can get videos off of your GoPro. Let's get into it. So there are more options on how you can achieve this. Naturally, you can open up the case of the GoPro and just pinch on the SD card and then you will have the ability to just, you know, connect it to any kind of device. It is going to be a little bit more of a, I'm not saying that it's complicated, but you need to have the hardware and, you know, the connectors, right? Because let's say you want to put it inside of the iPhone. The iPhone has the Lightning or USB-C, so you need to have that in order to connect the SD card, but it's the micro SD card. So you need to put it in the larger, you know, like adapter for the regular SD card. So it works, but you know, there is this uh, like process in between. And naturally this can also be placed inside of the computer or some other devices too. But essentially you can find it inside of the files app and you'll be able to then just copy and use the photos and like videos right there and just save it into the gallery or into your video editing app, whatever it might be, right? So that is like the first option to begin with. On the other hand, you can also just connect it wirelessly using an app to your iPhone, right? It also depends on which exactly GoPro you have as naturally not every single one may be supported, but you know, you can get the quick app from the app store and using this app when you connect it to your uh, you know, GoPro, you'll be able to then just uh, see the images directly from the GoPro on your phone, right? So you can then just save it to the quick app to like uh, keep the videos for offline use. Whenever you just, you know, you take the GoPro away, you turn it off. Those videos might stay inside of the quick app on your phone if you save them. And from this, you can also export them directly into the photos app. So these are like the two main ways how you can get the videos off of your GoPro. Naturally, there is like a cloud version as well where you can upload it to like the GoPro cloud and then download it from there and stuff like that. But, you know, these are the most common and most useful ways how you can do this. So that's it. That's everything how it kind of works. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video and found it helpful. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next tutorials.